This here is the test for divergence, also just called the divergence test. It's a quick way to check if some series are divergent. If the limit of the terms of the series is not equal to zero, whether the limit doesn't exist or it's just some non-zero number, then the series must be divergent. I'll leave a link in the description to the lesson where we prove this result. I've put the proof here as well. It's pretty short, so you could stop and read it if you want. But we're going to go through a few examples now of actually using the test for divergence. We're going to apply the divergence test to each of these three series. The divergence test is a great thing to use if you don't know if a series converges or not. It's good to just check if the terms approach zero, because if they don't, then you already know the series must diverge and there's no work left to do. Let's try applying the divergence test to this first series. So we're going to look at the terms of the series and ask, do they approach zero? So we're looking at the limit of 3n cubed plus 4 over 5n cubed plus n as n goes to infinity. What we'll do is divide the numerator by the highest power of n and divide the denominator by the highest power of n. So we're dividing the numerator and denominator by n cubed. In the numerator, 3n cubed divided by n cubed is 3, and 4 divided by n cubed is 4. 4 over n cubed. In the denominator, 5n cubed divided by n cubed is 5, and n divided by n cubed is 1 over n squared. Now as n goes to infinity, this and this both approach 0. So all that's left is 3 over 5. Then we see the limit is 3 over 5, which is not equal to 0. Since the terms of this series do not approach 0, it must be that the series diverges by the divergence test. Then we wouldn't have to waste any time trying to show that this series converges because we know that it does not. All right, let's move on to the second example. Here we're looking at the series adding tangent of n, where n ranges from 1 to infinity. So let's ask, what does tangent of n approach as n goes to infinity? The answer, of course, is that it doesn't approach anything. The limit of tangent of n as n goes to infinity doesn't exist. Tangent is sine over cosine, and as the input gets larger and larger, sine and cosine oscillate, and tangent will oscillate as well. This does not approach any particular value. Hence, this series, because its terms don't converge to zero, by the divergence test, we know the series diverges. Finally, last example, the sum of terms 1 over root n, as n goes from 1 to infinity. Applying the divergence test, we must look at the limit of the terms of the series. The terms of the series are 1 over root n, and as n goes to infinity, of course, this is going to approach 0. So what does that tell us? The divergence test says that if the terms don't approach zero, the series diverges. But what if the terms do approach zero? Well, the divergence test tells us nothing in this case, so we don't know anything. The series may or may not converge just from this information. Now, as it turns out, this series does actually diverge. So even though its terms approach zero, it is a divergent series. Remember, the divergence test isn't going to catch every divergent series, but it does a pretty good job of catching the easy ones. So that's the divergence test and how to use it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Audio.